Welcome back, and today we're going to create a drink made for a 1922 silent film, Blood and Sand. Now, this drink was actually created, or at least first known in publication, in Harry Craddock's Savoy Cocktail Book. And it's one of the first cocktails I know of that utilizes scotch whiskey. Um, it says you can use any scotch that you want. I'm using Johnny Walker Black. If you had red, um, monkey shoulder, something like that, sure work just fine. I've never had this drink, but it's named for the 1922 silent film Blood and Sand that stars Rudolph Valentino, also known as the Latin Lover. Uh, I've heard that the film itself was not uh, only was popular because of the name, that the performances weren't too well. I wouldn't know, never seen it. And I've never had this cocktail. So let's make it. It is a shaken cocktail. First thing I'm going to need is three quarters of an ounce of orange juice, fresh squeeze. I squeezed this before the show. Three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. I'm using Martini and Rossi. Uh, you, if you have antique formula, you can use that. Uh, Punta Mez uh, is another sweet vermouth. Three quarters of an ounce of cherry hearing liqueur. Good pop. And now for the final ingredient, three quarters of an ounce of scotch. I'm using Johnny Walker Black. Pick whatever you want. Monkey shoulder is fine. I don't, um, maybe not use a peated whiskey. Like don't use anything from like Isla or uh, you know, something that might have uh, too much peat in it because it might take over this. Since it's shaken, you know what's next. Large cube. And like so, Mary, you know, cool, that'll work. Hawthorne in, and strain. Not quite to the wash line I was hoping for, but it's okay. The blood and sand. Cheers. Ooh, ooh. That's tasty. I like this. Wow. The the vermouth is not real like the vermouth is there very subtly. Like you get just a little hint of the herbaceous of the of the vermouth. The cherry just plays so well with the orange juice is just there giving a little bit more sweetness to just accentuate the cherry. The and the scotch just it just blends so well together. I'm astounded by this. You know, you could probably go into a Highland or a Space Side and go into maybe there's a whiskey I'm aware of that has a little bit of peat in it, uh, and that would be Highland Park 12. You you could actually you could utilize it. I might not recommend it because that's a pretty expensive, but if you wanted to go that way, you could. Lafroig, like a Volan, Ardbeg, maybe not, because that might be too much smoke on this, but this is a tasty one. I'm, I am amazed. Try it if you have, if you can. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. Have you had this? Are you going to make this? Uh, have you tried any other equal, uh, equal ratio cocktails? There's one that's going to be coming soon that utilizes the same three-quarter ounce measurements for everything. And it was actually invented later, at least as far as I'm aware. You can find me on my socials down in the block below. Personal YouTube page, youtube.com, Scott W. Smith. I try to be there Saturday nights, 8 p.m., play some games, make a drink. You know, just chill out, have a nice cold time. Until next time, thank you for watching. I will be back real soon with another cocktail, and this has been... The Beginner's Bar.